we have a circuit that initially has a current of 10 amps flowing in it. We want to turn it off. This circuit has an inductance of five henrys, and we have the constraint that we don't want an induced EMF uh, bigger than 100 volts because it could damage the circuit. So how quickly can we turn off the current in that circuit? So we use the magnitude of the EMF <coughs> induced in the circuit will be, and we're ignoring the sign of whether it's a positive or a negative EMF, the inductance of the circuit L times the rate of change of the current. Plugging in uh, what we have for the time rate of change of the current. We're going to have the magnitude of the induced EMF is going to be 5 Henry's. And we have I final is 0 minus I initial. 10 amps and then in the denominator we'll have T final minus T initial but I'll take T initial to just be zero so that's T final and a little bit about what this unit of a Henry is one Henry worth of inductance means one volt of induced EMF for a current changing at a rate of one amp per second. So one Henry is one volt second per amp. If we rearrange this equation Solve for T final. It's going to have to be bigger than or equal to five volt second per amp. So that's our inductance. We don't want the induced EMF being bigger than 100 volts and the change in current at absolute value is going to be 10 amps. And just make sure that all of those units work out correctly. I have a volt over a volt and this is going to give me an amp over an amp. So this is going to be 50 over 100 seconds or 0 0.5 seconds. So for circuits, like high voltage circuits where um, the current change could be large or circuits with a large inductance, even when it's sort of a moderate sized current change, um, you're going to have uh, an induced EMF when the current is changing that can be quite large. So for those sorts of circuits, you can't just like flip a switch and turn them off. They have to have mechanisms to allow um, the current to go to zero at a slow enough time scale, over a long enough time scale, or else you'll get an induced EMF that could drive an induced current that could damage the circuit.